welcome to all of you, and congratulations for uh, for all your activities over the, the last year that are culminating in this event today. What's exciting about the University of Vermont is this. Many students sit in classrooms and learn passively about what others have created. Here, you have partaken in an activity that creates new knowledge. You are learning what it takes to create the knowledge that others will learn. Without any further ado, I will release you to your platform sessions, which I am looking very much forward to attending, and then later the, uh, the poster sessions. And I wish you all uh, continued success and, uh, and great achievement in your careers. Research is just a passion of mine. And I need the practice in talking about my research and getting comfortable with that. So that's why I am here today with my poster. I hope to continue in research. I hope to be a research assistant at a university. Um, and then in a few years, I hope to apply to graduate school and get in and complete PhD work. It's important to the students to get involved because it it begins to define for them the next stage in their careers as uh, practicing professionals. I had been doing research for you know, since September. I just started back up in September, and I, you know, made some some decent advancements. And I decided it would be a good experience to practice showing this. I think the most enjoyable part for me so far was you know, gathering all my data together and putting it in a format that somebody else can hopefully understand. And I, it, within the chemistry department we kind of use our own lingo and sometimes it's easy to overlook that, uh, the fact that not everybody's going to understand that. Uh, it's an opportunity to show off my creative work. Um, to incorporate the sciences and the arts together, which is one of the areas that I'm interested in. I'm interested in incorporating the more rational, logical side with the creative side. Um, my piece in particular is about encoding data. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it comes from my sort of first few degree, first few majors, which was uh, physics and mathematics and architecture. So I'm taking those things and incorporating them into my artwork. So I enjoy the opportunity to show myself with other scientists. What's really valuable about this year's conference, I think, and what strikes me is that the breadth of what students at UVM are doing regarding this sort of activity. And it's not just the research and scholarship, it's not just the research and scholarship in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It's moved well beyond that into the social sciences, the professions, the fine arts, and the humanities. Over the summer I did my research with the McNair program, and we got the opportunity to do research for about 10 weeks. Um, and I was interested in refugee um, policy, and I got to work with two refugee organizations here in Vermont. It's, it was hands-on. I got to talk to actual families coming here in Vermont, and then I got to actually review the legislation and policies that impact them um, throughout the years. One of the exciting things about the University of Vermont is that we have a long-standing history tying various topics together. And science cannot stand alone in, in society, and society cannot stand alone without science. And Professor Marsh in the 1800s developed this concept of the unity of knowledge where all students were required to tie their subject matters that they had studied together before they graduated. And this is something that we still carry on here at the University of Vermont and it's a, an, an incredibly important part of how we can work in the 21st century, how we need to work in the 21st century. 